I think what you will see is the story of, um, uh, you know, a 5,000 year old, um, Egyptian princess who, um, made a bargain with essentially with the devil and it was thwarted and she's now come to modern day to complete that bargain. And Tom's character, Nick, it finds himself right in the middle of that problem. Um, because he is going to be the conduit by which she will complete her bargain. Nick Morton is a thief. <laughs> he is. He's a thief. He's basically uh, stealing these old relics and selling it on the black market for money. He works for the army and uses his position in the army to scout and go ahead and uh, kind of work, you know, work the sides of the black market. And um, with his partner, you know, Jake Johnson, Vale. Uh, and he is definitely not interested in history, uh, has no real understanding of what it is that he deals in, and he gets caught up in this, this uh, terrifying adventure. Now, what we have with our Dr. Jekyll is that he already has something inside of him. He actually has to work to keep that thing suppressed. And I think it's probably not giving too much away to say that because he has that thing inside him, he has quite a uh, clear understanding of evil. It was important to find the psychology of, of the character and understand why she did what she did, because she had to and have people just, you know, feel for her. And, and I think that was the goal, because I think it's too easy just to make it obvious that she's just mean or hateable. The minute we decided to make her a woman, it opened up huge story possibilities, just brand new doors that suddenly felt fresh. And it raised really interesting and timeless questions. And it gave her a backstory that I hadn't seen before. And it's very hard in any movie to come up with villains who have an interesting and unique backstory. Um, and when... But it felt so immediately right. It was just that Lego click of like, that's it. That's what it's got to be. Basically, you have to throw out what you knew about. This is what we, we jokingly said. You have to throw out what you knew about the Mummies uh, franchise. You have to literally throw it out and come with a blank slate and get ready for a big old ride. It's going to be a huge ride. You're entering these worlds that the detail work that even the camera doesn't pick up, like in back corners with the people who built these sets and the set designers have done, is they've created a three-dimensional space that just feels real. So the camera can point and be in any direction, and it all works. We've been really pushing the edges of, of storytelling. Of, you know, this, this film is gonna have really obviously great action, uh, real, real thrills, real scares, uh, and wonderful, you know, kind of character humor that, that I love within it. Very, I think uh, kind of dark humor right, that that I want from this kind of film. I think the audience should expect to to be transported, to um, travel, to in, in, not only in, in in space but in time, and they can expect to be entertained and be amused and have a laugh while being maybe, hopefully, excruciatingly terrified.